Okay, so this video, I said I was gonna go over my setup. And I'm gonna do it by bikes. Each bike that I bought, I pretty much got a trainer for it. And I didn't do it purposefully that way, but that's kind of how it happened. And I learned more as I bought each bike and trainer. So the first bike that I bought, I bought it on my birthday and I actually did a quick fundraiser on Instagram. And I got 350 like that. Pretty much it took an hour and a half. No, it took about two, three hours and I've generated 350 through the charity and the generous donation of my friends. You know, so they helped me out and I got a bike on my birthday. And my girl actually spawned the interest. She had a Cannondale liquid gas race bike, pretty much. Think of it, carbon. And that's the first bike that I tried and tested when I tried to ride a bike again, you know. So I decided to get a bike. It wasn't going to be a carbon bike because I looked it up and I quickly figured out that carbon bikes are very expensive. So it was out of my budget. I only raised $350, so I had to get something. When I was younger, I used to ride a Schwinn 456 or 465. I always get those numbers confused. But I just wanted a Schwinn steel bike that I can ride. So I bought this 350. I mean, I bought this bike. I paid a little more than I probably should have, but I was eager. I just raised the money. Here, take the money, whatever. I need this bike. So I bought the blue bike. It was a little bigger than I should have bought. I bought it at 58. The chain ring had a 40-53, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a 53 on there. So when I bought the trainer for this bike, it was about four or five months after. And it was cold. It was winter. And I needed a trainer. So what I did was I looked on Facebook Marketplace, found a lady selling a trainer. I bought two for $100. These trainers were not smart trainers. They didn't have... Uh, any kind of Bluetooth on them. They were very basic trainers. It's just something to put your bike on and ride and from there I Put the blue bike on there and that's what I did. I just rode on there From the blue bike the chain ring is really big and I didn't even understand chain rings or gear ratios at this time Like I said, I just wanted to ride so I'm riding this huge chain ring and it's building my strength and I'm doing pretty long rides and if you're in Atlanta, you know it's very hilly. So this is the bike that I started with. And I just got used to riding hills and just pretty much putting out power and pushing through hills thinking that this is what's normal. You know what I mean? You just got to get stronger. So over time, I got did get stronger. But I wanted a faster bike. So I want to say at least close to a year in, I was looking for a Sprint LA or LA Sprint. But I found an LA Sport for $600. I went, picked that up, and I rode on that. Now, this bike was much lighter than a steel bike, so it felt like the bike that my girlfriend had, but it still wasn't carbon, and it was some, there was some things going on with it as far as the geometry and how it felt for me. It just didn't feel like I could maximize my uh, sprints with it, but it did help me cadence-wise because this group, this uh, chain ring was a 50-34, and... I was realizing that I was spinning a lot more or my cadence had to go up to get the same speed that I was generating with the blue bike. The blue bike was like a truck. This one was more like a sports car in a sense where I had to like really just pedal pedal more, <laughs> you know, was, and, and still I don't understand chain rings and ratios. I remember one ride somebody asked me, what chain rings you running? I didn't even know. I said, I guess 52 something or 12, 24 or some shit like that. So I didn't even know still. Okay, so I get this black bike, LA Sport. Really in the back of my mind, I want an LA Sprint. So fast forward four months from now, I get back on Facebook Marketplace. I've been hawking this bike for months. Most of them are going for at least 2500 to 3000 depending on the group set and all of that. I find this bike for much lower than that. I ain't going to tell you how much I got my bike for, but I got a very, very good deal. I picked it up. A guy bought it for his wife. His wife never rode the bike. So he was like, whatever. He had bread. He didn't care. He just wanted to sell the bike. And I bought the bike. So when I get this LA Sprint, now, at this point in time, I'm understanding more so how chain rings work. I know I need a power meter. I don't have a power meter. The black bike only had a cadence monitor on it. 
and that wasn't good enough. It was, I would get on Zwift and it just wasn't, it didn't feel accurate. So I knew I needed a better trainer. So I pick up a kicker snap. Cause like I said, I'll be trying to save money. I pick up a kicker snap for 350. I get a power meter for 400. I get a computer because you need a computer to monitor the statistics from the power meter for 400. And I also pick up a GoPro, you know, that has nothing to do with power or uh, <laughs> performance, but it helps me. So I get a GoPro for a camera. From the blue bike, I gain more understanding of power and just pushing through. From the black bike, I began realizing how important being able to sustain a high cadence is. The white bike, it was kind of a combination of both now where it was like the best of both worlds where I could put down power with the 52 but if I want to switch to the small ring and just spin I can do that too and I got the ability to do it too because both of my previous bikes pretty much was molding me into this to this perfect person for this one bike right here that I knew that I, I needed so that's pretty much uh, the setup that I run and how it works and yeah man, that's what I do and that's it I do have a training tire that I use. I don't normally use these tires right here. Sometimes I just throw the bike on the trainer just to hold it there. But I have a training tire that I use that has a bigger cassette for the more climbing races that I do. Because I do like to climb. So this is the cassette that I use for that. And this is a 12 to 36 if I want to, if I'm correct. Yes, yeah, it's the 12 to 36. But normally I run a 12 to 24 on everything else. To wrap it up, different bikes teach you different things, or they have the ability to teach you different things. My blue bike, I just hop on that in the morning time just to warm up. The black bike is usually what I race on because the 50 ring, I can really spin that crazy and put some power and spin at the same time. And my 52 is what I, my white bike, the Sprint. I usually ride that outside. I usually ride that outside just because it's newer. It's more comfortable. Everything shifts a little more smoother. The black bike, it doesn't shift as smooth as that bike, but it gets the job done, as you can see. So, yeah, that's what I like. Um, yeah, trainers are good. Get a trainer. It'll help you ride when it's freezing outside like it is now. Until then. Until, until next time. <laughs> Peace. Ride fast.